You know, guys, I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> when you don't listen to the radio, you don't listen to the television, and I haven't had a television for 20 years, and you don't uh, know what's going on around you, it's it's usually pretty nice. I mean, nobody's bothering you. You know, you, our neighbors have a we have a little bit of, of a thing going, but it's not a bad thing. You know, it's just a here and there, uh, see you have a nice day kind of thing. And uh, it's a good it's it's good. But the problem is, like two weeks ago. I was sitting in front of Tops. I took Sally there to go get a couple of things. And we do not carry a lot of money with us. We leave our money in the bank. And no normally it's in a, a CD or something. It's not somewhere where you can grab it. So anyway, um, while I was sitting there, I was talking to my daughter and she says to me, have you guys been able to get toilet paper? And I says to her, what do you mean? I, Because I, I had no idea of what she was talking about. And uh, she said that down where she lived, you, you, Walmart had no toilet paper at all. I found that hard to believe. But anyway, I, uh, when Sally was in the store, so I called her and I said, Sally, grab a four-pack of toilet paper while you're in there. Now, a four-pack of toilet paper lasts us about a month, I guess we're about. It depends on if anybody's sick or anything. So, uh, that's where not listening to the radio and stuff can mess you up, you know, as far as what's going on out there. Normally, when I first moved here, I'd put a huge supply of stuff in my office, including big boxes of toilet paper. But over the years, it seemed like nothing was happening, so we I sort of used it because things were getting old. Uh, we had a bunch of canned goods and stuff. Not an over, not like somebody storing their entire basement. I'm just talking about a nice set of shelves filled with everything the two of us would need for probably three or four months. So we ended up using that stuff, and now um, we find ourselves a little short. So I was in town yesterday. And again, there was not one roll of toilet paper on the shelf. So, you know, I'm just saying, it's you have to be alert to some of these things. I'm not going in there to buy 15 rolls of toilet paper. All I want to do is get four rolls of toilet paper or lasses a month, and we'll figure out what to do after that. But um, I don't know if I'll be able to get four rolls. But, um, anyway, it's just, you know, one of those things. I need to pick up some stuff, a couple little things. Like, we ran out of, of rubbing alcohol and didn't even realize it because we would normally go to the store and get that. And there, there's no rubbing alcohol in at the store. So I'm going to take you in there with me and give you an idea of some of the uh, things that are missing. And I don't know if... Uh, I, I don't know if you're allowed to videotape in the store, but if I don't video it, I'll at least tell you. I'm just saying, you know, you got to be alert to certain things. And it's just the two of us, we don't use a lot of stuff. Even food, we don't use a lot of. We just eat it the wrong way, I suppose. You can see how messed up this road got. They were trying to put stone on top of frozen dirt and pack it in with a roller. And it wasn't working, so now it's got bumps and bruises and holes all over the place. But it's better than nothing. Yeah, so anyway, what I was saying there before, you have to, uh, you know, pay attention to certain things. But it's not like... I don't know how to explain it. I mean, I can go to the store and do, if I had a family, believe me, I'd be running to the store every day. I mean, when the kids were at home and things were bad, we'd stock up on stuff. But my problem is I was always the kind of person that 
if I got sent for the groceries, I shopped for the whole month. I took money and I bought a month's worth of food. And I have to tell you, the back of my pickup truck would be covered with food and, you know, whatever we needed. But we were so good at it, we had a note written out that all we did was print the note out and take it with us and buy everything on the note. Basically, it was everything we ever liked in the store and that fed the kids. Um, so we don't have kids now, so we don't need all that stuff. And, uh, you know, I myself am on a freaking diet, so I shouldn't be eating all kinds of candy and crap, chips and whatever. And that, that's what killed me yesterday. There's no toilet paper, but the chip aisle was filled from one end to the other. It's amazing. So anyway, it's just... I didn't realize that there were some things on my note that I didn't get. And Sally said I need to get them or we don't have any of them. So I think the next time, if this thing gets cured, and I'm, I hope it does, I think I'm going to go back to uh, buying shelves worth of stuff. You know, and you can do that by just buying extra. Like if you buy a dozen cans of corn or whatever, just buy two dozen cans next time. Or whatever it is, it doesn't take much to have four months or three months worth of food. So anyway, that's what I'll probably do after this thing is over because it doesn't seem like you can do it at the moment. I was looking online for different things like toilet paper and I didn't find any toilet paper too much. Although what I saw was, didn't look like the right size kind of paper and I didn't want to get it. But as far as food goes, I went on to Walmart's website and figured maybe I could order a load of food and bring it in. Everything is no and they won't let you order it online, which is, I don't understand that. What I don't really get about this thing is, okay, one week the store's packed with groceries, everything you need. Two weeks later, there's not it, what you need or what you usually use is no longer there. So what happened to the delivery people? I mean, it doesn't look like all of them got sick. I mean, the businesses that make food aren't supposed to shut down. Well, anyway, we're just going to have to see what's going to happen here. I hate, what I don't like about this is driving into town, you know, yesterday was here, now I'm going back in today. Now, this county that I live in doesn't have any cases of this virus at this point. And I'm not saying that that means it's safe, because I don't, I don't believe in that kind of thing. But, I'd like to get a big order of food that would last a month or so and be done with it. But they just don't have it on the shelves. Um, when I bought meat yesterday, they had two things. They had chicken, some chicken. I, when I say they had chicken, I mean they had like 12 packs of chicken. And they had about 150 packs of roast beef. But the freaking beef is like 15 bucks a pound. So, you know, I don't know what's going on with that. But anyway, uh gonna go pick up the couple little things we need like soap I, I didn't get a bars of soap we need some bars of soap which lasts a while and I don't care what kind of soap it is and uh, also um, the heck did she tell me I needed oh she wants yeast because she wants to be able to bake bread just in case we can't buy bread the biggest problem with this thing is that we haven't been able to uh, you know, get what we normally use. Like, for instance, there was no Crisco in the store yesterday. There was no um, flour in the store yesterday. And the one thing about living up here, where we live, is there's a lot of farmers and stuff, and these people usually know how to cook. So their wives know how to bake and stuff like that. So they'll buy the same things that my wife and I would buy you know, to be able to prolong whatever you got going for yourself. So, um, just a matter of, I guess this is what's gonna have to be done, trying to get the food we need. The sad thing about it is no matter how much money you have, you can't get what you want. 
which is, you know, we're used to doing that as Americans. And here we are not able to do it in only two weeks. That's unbelievable, but that's what happened. Also, I was, also I was watching the news today a little bit, trying to. You ever turn on the Fox channel? I used to like Fox. Now it's not worth watching. It's more like a bunch of uh, soap operas. But anyway, they had the president of Canada up there, some young guy trying to look like a man because he grew a beard. And the guy is a dope. I've listened to him before. He doesn't know what which end is up. Now all of a sudden he's saying, you must stay home. We are going to do something about this. I don't want people out, uh, you know, having fun and enjoying themselves and stuff like that. Walking around all together. I guess they had a video there. And I don't know, maybe it's spring in Canada, although it's cold here. But anyway, they had a little video there of a guy, of a bunch of people, you know, out taking a walk. And uh, he's mad about that. He wants them to stay home. But this is the kind of people that he got elected by. This is the kind of people he was catering to that want to be able to do what they want, when they want, without any reason for not having what they want. And we all know that there's always reasons for ha not having something you want, but there's some people who just can't deal with that. I'm just glad that we, we were raised by parents that understood these things and taught us this stuff when we were little by not buying us the candy bar that we wanted, by not buying the toys that we wanted. You know, I mean, at Christmas time, it was always good, good at my home when I was a kid, but during the year, it was tight. My mom and dad were not uh, out spending money everywhere. They worked and they enjoyed what they had, and that's as far as it went. But um, I don't know, it just seems like there's so many people and believe me, I'm not against anybody having what they want. What I'm against is people having what everyone else can't have. You know? And I'm like I'm saying, uh, at this point it almost doesn't matter how much money you have. I mean, yeah, if you want to pay ten times for a roll of toilet paper, be my guest. I'm not paying that. I'm not paying four dollars for a roll of toilet paper. It's not fair not right but you know if worse comes to worse I might have to all right so this is the end of the five mile road and we're down here you know, very little snow down here but you can see up on the, the mountainside there or at least I think you can see it that there's pretty much snow over that way big cloud here the other day but it's fairly warm down here up at our house, it's 31 degrees, so that's why there's still snow there. And you can see down here, 38 degrees, so that's why there's no snow here. It's all melted. But you can see, like, in the sh uh, shadowy areas, there's still some snow. Well, anyway, guys, um, have a good one. This is going to be today's video because I'm not caught sudden and doing any... So, the funny thing about this, these cars here are all for a gym. So apparently these younger people think that they're not going to get sick and they're just going to go do whatever they want to do. Well, they had no toilet paper. Again. <laughs> so, uh, but they had a lot of other stuff. So, I bought, you know, the things that we use that they didn't have yesterday, they had today, so I bought that. But they still didn't have no toilet paper, sadly. You know, I thought that people yesterday were staying home because there was a lot less traffic and everything than there is today. But yesterday it was rain, it was snowing like crazy when I came into town. So I guess that's the only reason they stayed home was because of the snow. Everybody's still out and stores are, you know, businesses are still open. I don't really, I don't know what's the right thing to do, whether to, you know, stay home, not stay home. The thing is, is I was watching an article also this morning that said that 
the regular virus or the regular flu has killed more people than this uh, virus has. It's just that this virus has no, I, I guess they said they have no, nothing that can either cure it or, um, you know, slow down the symptoms or take care of some of the symptoms that you get from it. So anyway, I couldn't do any videoing in the store. They didn't, they didn't want you to, but um, I'm just saying it's, you never, you don't know what to think. Now it looks like this gas station's closed down. Actually, they're open. Okay, well they're open. Hmm. Not gas station. I'm in repair shop. Well, I'm glad to be going home. I still have some gas. I have gas in storage at home a little bit, so I'm just gonna. I'm not coming into town no more for a couple of weeks. That'll be the end of that. Maybe so it's supposed to warm up tomorrow. Maybe I can do some cutting tomorrow if the snow's all off the mill.